Hey guys, what's up? This is Tail Mail. And today I will be doing a playthrough of The Aether 2, Genesis of the Void. So for you, those of you who don't know what The Aether is, it's a mod that basically adds a whole new dimension to the game. That's kind of like a heaven in a dimension. Well, yeah. And if you haven't heard of The Aether, I'd be surprised because it's pretty popular amongst Minecraft players. So I will create a new world. I was playing around just to see kind of what this thing was like, so that's my other world. Let's call this Let Us or this Let Us Aether. I don't know. Ooh, I got a better idea. Let Us Aether. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What should I do first? See. There, that's my seat. If you want to follow along with me, just type in that. There, you had enough time. Without further ado, let us aether. So, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Just been kind of stuck for ideas like I have been recently. So, why not play this? Because I actually do want to play this, and I think it's a good opportunity to play Minecraft and do a YouTube video. Now the thing about this is it only runs in, well the highest version it will run in Minecraft is 1.64, but that when it uses its own launcher like this it doesn't really matter because you can't do any newer versions, and of course I spawn in a jungle, I hate jungles. And this version is just like so common to spawn in jungles so that's kind of annoying to me, but luckily I saw other types of trees back here so I'm going to go over there. Gosh, this is the biggest biome ever. Wait, no, actually. Should be sarcastic. There's more over there. I thought it was just this little island that was part. I don't even remember what this biome's called. I'm thinking tundra, but I don't know if that's right. Probably not. Hello, cow. I'm hungry. So, what I need to do is well, this is going to be a multiple part series. And what you need to do to get to the Aether is make a basically nether portal out of glowstone, and instead of using lava, you have to use water. So, the first, this is going to be split into three chapters. The first chapter will be on, um, the Minecraft Earth, I guess. <laughs> the Minecraft, the normal Minecraft planet. The second part will be in the nether, well, the second chapter will be in the nether, I'm trying to get the glowstone so I can get to the aether and then there will be the aether which will be the longest part or maybe this might be the longest part because you have to well there's for those of you who don't know what the aether is it's basically a ton of floating islands with three dungeons that you can beat and a ton of new I uh, items you can get so i'm going to beat the three dungeons and then that will be the third part of the series so for difficulty i have it on normal right now and I have some video setting adjustments, as you can see, I don't have, like, the maximum smooth lighting or the, um, uh, fancy graphics. So I just have the normal stuff, because I like my Minecraft to be running as, as, well, the fastest pace it can run. So let's start with the shelter, shall we? So cutting down a tree. Uh, I had, had far less wood than I would expect it to. Disappointing. <laughs> that was, oh, I've only had this had the timber mod installed. That'd be nice. I can just go over to a jungle and cut down a whole jungle tree. I imagine how much wood that would give me. A lot, probably. Duh. Oh wow, my hunger's already down quite a bit. And I'll eat later when I'm more hungry. Because hopefully by then I'll have a furnace. Maybe. Probably not. And then I could cook this to get more, well, get more hunger from it. I should also probably stop running because that also drains your hunger bar faster. Ooh, sugar cane. Bam, bam, bam. There's also mushrooms. Ooh, I have an idea. Because I see both of the types of mushrooms. Mushroom soup. That would do good. 
Now if you hear a fan in the background, that's just my computer. Running this on a MacBook Pro, that's apparently really hot, but I don't know if it actually really is, because it's on my bed. Hey, chicken. How are you doing? Oh, good? Okay. Too bad I had to kill you. I'm doing it for a good cause. I won't kill you yet. Yet. That was really evil. Ooh, there's a squid over there. Word. Squid, squid, squid. I got some polo. Polo. Ooh, pollo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know my Spanish pronunciations. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna take one of these. So I'll have the equal amount of the red and other, uh, and pale brown something mushrooms. Logic. So let's go back to this snowy forest biome thing. That's what I'm gonna start calling it. The snowy forest biome thing, because that makes sense. It also has this up here where you can get accessories and, well, you can show what you can equip here and what you can equip here. It's basically the same thing except with more options. It's for this mod. It wasn't for the original Aether. I think it's a neat little addition. Even though I think the other menu was a bit more, oh, hey, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> the other menu was a bit more efficient. Need some lobby. Mmm, delicious. Raw red well, meat. I hope I don't get worms. You can't get worms in Minecraft. So here's gonna be my house. I'm gonna try to be a minimalist and make a small house, but then do a ton of stuff underground, because that's what I like to do. It also saves wood. And I'm an environmentalist. At least in this game. Actually, in real life, I try to be. I honestly don't know how successful I am at doing that. We pay more attention to that. That's my goal. Well, that's gonna be about the size of our house. That, 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 that. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna make my own resource pack sometime, and that's gonna what it's gonna sound like whenever you place the block. It's just gonna be me saying, "Da." I bet everybody would love me for making that text that resource pack. Oh, I was gonna start with the bonus chest, but I didn't. Well, at least I'm not gonna cheat. I think it's about time for me to get a new skin. Nah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, well, I'm hoping when I- oh, I should probably cap to pickaxe. Eh, I'll do that when I reach stone. Oh. Lucky me, I reached there. Okay, there's some stone. Hoping to get some coal. Be nice if I could get some coal right off the bat, because then I could just be like, boom, torches. Finding torches at the beginning of Minecraft, but well, when you're playing Minecraft, is always kind of annoying, I think. Mainly because, well, you have to go mining, and it's you should have it done before the first. Whoa, what's that? Well, that's that was some weird stone, huh? That's gonna be called. I don't know. Oh, great. Now I need some coal. Because it's getting too dark. 
I'm gonna branch this off into different rooms, I guess. So here's gonna be my bedroom. You know, it's just gonna be a nice, simple two by. I'm gonna say yeah, three room. The bed will go there, and then there'll be some chest or some light or something. And right here will be a how about a furnace room? Unless there'll be a chest room. Why would I think the furnace? The furnace would go up by the chest, by the crafting table. That would be what makes the most sense. Then I'll extend farther down when I think of other things. I'm thinking I'll have an, the nether and aether portal down there. Either that or I'll just have lots of my house facing each other. So then some zombie pigmen will just walk out of the knit there and then walk into the aether. That would be hilarious. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do for coal. Charcoal. That's what smart people do. Yeah, that's what I do. And it's also just about time for night, so... Ooh, I didn't mean to just drop all that. Because I have the I have the difficulty on normal and I don't want any monsters running in here or seeing me for that fact I'm talking about creepers. Or meaning creepers. Here's some torches. I don't know what the extra block is for. So there'll be one up here and it will be like Right there. And there will be one kind of down here. Oh. At the crossroads. That's what I'm gonna call it. And over here. And I'll leave this a bit dim. I don't see a point in putting one there yet. make some more torches. How about I make eight more? Or nine. I have... Oh, wait, it made eight. But I have nine. Okay. Good. I'm gonna make a sword and a pickaxe. Who knows, maybe I'll just go out and run around and kill things. That's always fun. I hear footsteps. Run away. At this point, I don't know what I'm even looking for. I just feel like mining. Okay, so I'm thinking after this night I'll end the video. I'm not gonna mind any for anything right now, I'll just see what's outside my house. Sorry about that, I just got a text from, yeah. I went to do this fine eve well, night. It's not really evening anymore. I'll just see if I can find a cave. That would be nice. That would be perfect right now. Just find a big cave right now. Ooh. Brr. Oh. Why don't you break when I make that noise? 
Okay. Oh, that I didn't. I didn't make the noise that time. It broke. How come that makes any sense? It's not fair. Let's put all this dirt down here, though. I'd like to find some iron for these. Well, here's what I'll do. How far am I? Down to the actual thing. Imagine if this was in real life. I would, I would not like this one bit. Oh gosh, there's spider. So down here, right here. I'll dig a room here. This will be the one portal room. Oh, I'm sure I, that might actually be by some kind of cave, finally. Sounds like it's coming from over there. How did you know I was in here? That was scaring me. I didn't think they were just supposed to come up to your door and break it. What the heck? Oh my gosh! Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I was getting some more notifications. So this is going to be my nether room with the nether portal. Let's just see if I can find anything. This is where I was, I believe, when a zombie started knocking on my door, trying to give me cookies. I would, like, freak out if they just started coming down my stairs. Like, hey, dude, wish up. I'm your next door neighbor. My name's Zombie Salsa. That's my name. That would be an awesome name. <gasps> oh my gosh. Finally. Iron. That was amazing. Two pieces of iron. Bet you guys never seen that, that coming. Well, wait. I'm trying to think. What kind of pickaxe did I need to mine? Uh, 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 uh. I forget what it's called. I think it's a diamond pickaxe. Where are you, Iron? It would be awesome if this was like a abandoned mine trap somewhere around here. It could just be like, ooh, diamond. That's what I'm like. But at least now I have quite a bit of flint. So then I can make flint. Oh, it was flint and steel that needed. To ignite it, not lava. What was I thinking? Obviously, something. Oh, now. Look at that. That's beautiful. I always think ravines are 
actually really pretty. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go upstairs, make some mushroom soup, and then I will get a bucket and get some water that flows down there. It will actually make some of that stuff. I know it starts with an owl and I can't remember. It's such an obvious name, but I can't remember. So, I could, once I get three diamonds, I'd be able to do that. Oh, and it's day. Okay. So, I guess I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I will see you next time on the Aether playthrough.